For today's workout, you're going to be using a stability ball. It's really important that your stability ball is the right size. So what I want you to do is just sit on the ball, okay, and you should find that your knees are pretty much level with your hips. If your hips are too low, that suggests the ball is too small, and if your hips are too high, then the ball is too big. So we want that nice parallel thigh position, okay? So if the ball's the right size, let's get going with the workout. Hello and welcome to today's workout, which is the Stability Ball Great Balls of Fire workout. I'm Patrick and this is my assistant today, Hi. Michelle. We're going to take you through a whole body workout using a really versatile piece of training equipment called a Stability Ball. Now chances are you've got one of these at home, but you've never really done anything with it. You might even use it just to put a few clothes on top of it. You know, it's just one of those things sat in the corner of your room, not getting much use. So we're going to dust that ball off and we're going to have a great workout with it today. But before we get started, we need to warm up a little bit. So what I'd like you to do is just stand with your feet about hip width apart, and we're gonna start off with some shallow squats. So just bend the knees and up, okay? Not too deep, because we're only warming up. That's good, well done. Just keep that going. So when we're doing this movement, we're warming up the knees, we're warming up the hips, warming up the legs, getting everything ready for what we've got coming next. Okay, now from there, I'd just like you to add a bit of a shoulder shrug. So we go up and down. Okay, very easy. How's that, Michelle? Good? Feeling good, yeah. Well done. And then we're going to just circle back with those arms. Okay, big circles round. That's it. Good, keep that going. Just a couple more of those. And then we're going to go from this squat into a little side step. Okay, so we're just going to step to the side. Ready? Over we go. So step to the side. Good. Just a small step, doesn't have to be too massive. Well, just warming up after all. Good. Let's add a bit of an arm swing. Excellent. Just a few more of those. Very good. Now I want you to keep the leg movement going, but we're gonna bring the foot up behind in like a little hamstring curl, okay? So the leg comes up behind, you just touch your heel nice and lightly. That's good. Getting that coordination going. Again, warming up the knees. Getting the rest of the body warm as well. Good. Now we're going to keep that going, but we're just going to add an extra element. We're going to reach up with our free arm. So we go up, up, like that. Okay. Good. Well done. A few more of those. That's good, Michelle. Keep it going. Well done. Right, back to our side steps. Very good. Are you feeling warmer now? I hope so. Right, and from there, I just want you to march on the spot. Nice and easy. That's good. Well done. Take those feet out and we're just gonna go back to our squats. So just squat down, stand up a little bit deeper this time. Good. Gonna add a very gentle arm swing up above the head. Okay. Good. And from there, just gonna add a little twist. Okay, so we twist and turn. Twist and turn. Good, four more of those. Good job, everybody, well done. From there, just bring your feet in. All you want to do is just swing your leg forwards, nice and gently change legs. So we're stretching the hamstrings, which are the muscles on the back of your thighs. That's it. Keep just a slight bend in your knee. And keep that whole leg relaxed. That's great. Good, we're just gonna do four more of those. So that's one, two, well done, three, one more, and four. Okay, good. Our last stretch then, with your hands out in front at shoulder level, you're gonna step back, pull the heel to the floor, step forwards, change legs. So we push out, step back, 
push out, step back. So with this one, we're stretching your calves, stretching the fronts of your hips, stretching the chest, the shoulders, and the back. Good job, well done. Last four, so four, three, two, and one. Well done. Feeling warm? Yeah. Ready for the next part? Yeah. Excellent. So, grab your balls. Here we go, Michelle, this is yours. Thanks. So, our first exercise then, we've done it already as part of our warm-up. We do some squats, but we're going to hold the ball up overhead. And this is going to make your balance a little bit more difficult. It's going to challenge your core muscles, the muscles around your midsection. So all we're going to do is raise the ball above the head. Feet's about shoulder width apart, a little bit wider if you're tall like I am. And then squat down and stand back up again. Okay? And that's our exercise. So, Michelle, are you ready for that one? Yep. Great ready. stuff. So, you're going to do 12 repetitions. Are you ready? Okay. And go. That's it. So, as you can see, as Michelle squats down, she's pushing her hips back. She's keeping her arms above the head, which makes it much tougher, doesn't it? Yeah. Good, keep going. That's good, I think that's six. Well done. And eight, nine, and 10. Last two, well done, Michelle, good job. 11, one more time, and 12. Right, good, lower that ball down. Have a good rest, well done. So in that exercise then, we're working the legs mainly, but that big extended arm position means that the rest of the body's getting involved as well. So it makes it a really good all around exercise. Your heart rate will come up, your legs will be working hard. It's just a good all round exercise, okay? So enough rest, we're gonna do it again. So Michelle, you ready? Yep. Let's go. That's it. So as you can see, the hips are traveling backwards, which is what activates those glute muscles, the, the butt muscles at the back here. The chest is staying up, the arms are nice and strong, she's squeezing that ball, using her arm muscles as well to really increase the effectiveness of the exercise. That's good. Just two more to go, Michelle. Come on, you can do it. One more. Good, well done. All right, very good. How are those legs feeling? Good, so good. <laughs> Fantastic, good job. So we're going to move on now to the hamstrings and the hips. And this is called a lying hip bridge and leg curl because it's two exercises in one. So let me show you how this one goes. Place the ball on the floor. Pop your feet up on the ball. Now you might find a mat makes us a little bit more comfortable, but you're not going to have your bum resting on the floor for very long. Now put your hands fairly wide because that's going to help you with your balance. So we lift up and once the hips are up, they stay up and we curl the legs and then extend the legs. So the whole time the hips stay up. We don't lower our bums back down to the floor until the very end. And that's that one, okay? And when you've finished, gently lower down and then we'll have a rest. Okay, so that's the next one. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go then. That's fine, good. So that's great. So from there, Michelle, lift your hips up off of the floor and just bend those legs. Good, keep pushing those hips up. That's good. So at any point you feel your hips dropping, just make a mental note to push those hips up to the ceiling, okay? It's a hip extension with a leg curl. So it's two exercises going on at once. That's good, Michelle, you're doing very well. We're halfway. Come on, push those hips up. Good job. Nearly there, four more. That's good, just try and relax your neck so your head rests on the floor. Good, two more. One more, come on, you're there, that's good. And well done, and relax. Take a rest, really good. So it's quite a challenging exercise, isn't it? Yeah. Hopefully you'll feel it in all the right areas, which is the hamstrings and your bum, and maybe even a little bit in your lower back, but in a good way, not in a bad way. And also it helps with balance. Because the ball wants to wobble from side to side, you have to use both legs equally to make sure you don't go rolling off to the side. So it helps balance out your left and right muscles, keeps your strength nice and even, okay? 
One more set then. Are you ready? Yep. Let's go. That's it. So remember, keep pushing those hips up. I want the hips up all the time. That's good, Michelle. Doing really, really well. This is probably just as effective as any leg curl machine in a gym, but we can do it almost anywhere. Okay, it's an exercise you can do at home very easily. That's good. Keep pushing those hips up. That's it. Don't forget, hips up all the time. That's good work, everybody. Just three more, Michelle. Come on, you can do it. Good. Last one, big push. Good job. And hips down to the floor. Well done, everybody. Really good. So that's your legs worked fairly thoroughly now, just from two exercises. So you're going to move on to the upper body. So Michelle, if you want to stand up, I'll grab your dumbbells because we're going to use those next. Now, if you don't have some dumbbells, um, you can use just a couple of water bottles, a couple of tins from the cupboard, anything you like, so long as it's just heavy enough to give you a little bit of overload. Okay. So this exercise now, we work the muscles in the chest, the backs of the arms and the shoulders, and we're going to use the ball as a bench. So all I want you to do is sit on the ball and then slowly walk forwards until the ball is behind your shoulders and your head is resting on the ball. From there, lift the hips up to make a nice flat position. So we're getting a leg workout, even though we're doing an arm exercise. From there, you're going to push the arms up and then come back down. Push them up and back down. Nice and slow and controlled. And you can only go as far down as the ball allows you. So this means this exercise helps protect your shoulders by stopping you from going into too big a range of movement. Then when you've finished, bring the dumbbells down and carefully walk back up to sit on the ball. Okay, everybody got that? Got it? Yep. Let's go. Let's try it. Those are for you. Okay. So you walk forwards, that's it, until the ball is resting across your shoulders. We raise the elbows so they're nicely in line with the shoulders, and then we're off. That's good, Michelle. So lower them down and push them up. So keep tension in your hips. Keep pushing your bum up, okay? And if you do find you wobble a little bit, try taking your feet a bit further apart to increase your base of support. That's good. Can you feel your legs working? Yeah. Yeah? You feel your bum working? Yeah. You feel your abs working? Yeah. And we're doing a chest exercise. <laughs> How cool is that? So really effective exercise. That's great. Just a few more, Michelle. Very good. Last three. So one, two, and three. Good. Lower those dumbbells down and then slowly sit up. That's it. Very good. Well done at home. Good job there. Hopefully you didn't wobble around too much. But don't forget those wobbles, that's what makes this type of training so effective. Because every time you wobble, we have to, we have to use little muscles called fixators and stabilizers and synergists uh, to do extra work that we don't normally do. And we do very stable exercises. So it's a great way to get a very deep workout. We're, we're using lots of muscles that don't normally get much of a look in. So, last set. Ready? Yep. Let's go. That's it. So remember, hips up. Good. So it's very important that the ball is always resting behind your head or your head is resting on the ball. We don't want the neck working any harder than it needs to. Okay. That's good, Michelle. Well done. So you can see Michelle's hips, hips are up. There's lots of tension in those leg muscles and that's what's keeping her stable. Okay, you've got to have a stable base for this exercise. And that means strong legs. Okay, really keep pushing your feet into the floor. Just four more, Michelle. Good. Good job. One more time. Last one. Good. Well done. Fabulous. Slowly sit up. I'll take your weights. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, Michelle, let me show you the next exercise. So the next one, we've worked the muscles on the front of the body. We're now going to work the muscles on the back of the body. So we're just going to use the ball as something to lean upon. So I want you to take a nice sort of shoulder width stance, lean forwards and just pop your weights spread evenly through your feet and on your hand. And from there, keeping your head in a nice neutral position, just going to pull the dumbbell up towards your ribs and then back down. Now this is called a single arm dumbbell row and it works all of the muscles that we tend to forget about on the back of your body. Okay? And the ball is just there 
to make that lent over position that little bit more comfortable. And when we finish one arm, we'll do the same thing on the other arm. Okay? So, here you are. Thank you. That's it. So just bend over a little bit further. That's it. Bring your feet in a little bit closer. That's it. A bit closer still. You're not quite as tall as me. That's it. And then bend over at the hips. There we go. Now we've got a nice position. That's it. So as we're looking at Michelle's back here, you'll see there's no rounding of the back whatsoever. She's got a really nice, strong lower back position. Her neck is long, head square, that's it. So your neck's in a nice neutral position and she's really pulling that elbow up nice and high. The elbow's coming right up above the level of her shoulder, which is exactly what we want. So she's doing very well with that exercise. Last two. One more time. Fantastic. Okay, we're gonna change arms. That's it, Michelle. So obviously what we do on the left, we've got to do on the right. Equal numbers, equal weights. So we balance out the left and the right hand side of the body. That's good. And while we're doing this arm, obviously the other arm is getting a rest. So we don't need to have a recovery period from left to right. We can just keep going left, right, left, right, till we've finished our two sets. That's good, Michelle. Just two more. Well done, everybody. Keep it going and rest well done change sides so same thing how's that feeling michelle good feeling good yeah still feeling it in those legs though yeah yeah even though it's not a leg exercise we are using those legs so it's a really effective workout isn't it that's great keep that going doing very well good job okay just four more to go that's it very nice last two last one and switch arms. Good. Last time through there, Michelle. Let's go. We're doing really well. Come on, everybody at home. Keep it going. Keep leading up with those elbows, keeping those wrists nice and straight. Remember, the legs are really important, so don't relax them. Keep some tension there, too. We've got that lovely straight lower back. It's all looking good. So keep it up. Come on. Not long to go. That's it. Okay. Last two, Michelle. Last one. Yes. Very good, well done. So, if I can grab your dumbbell, thank you very thank much. You. Right, your next exercise then. We're gonna do something called a side lateral raise. Sounds complicated, but it's nice and simple. All we're gonna do is lift your arms to the side. Now, we're gonna do it in a seated position, as we've got the ball anyway. Now, when you sat on the Swiss ball, you wanna make sure that you're on the kind of the high point of your bum. Um, it's a bone called the ischium, but don't worry about that too much. It's basically the high point of your bottom. What we don't want you to do is to sag down. Okay, so sit up tall, make your neck long, your chest high, your shoulders back, and then we're ready to go. And from there, we're just gonna raise the dumbbells up and out to the side, and then back down. Okay, they lightly touch the ball, then we go back up, and back down. So if you look at the position of my elbows, they're very slightly bent. By keeping my elbows slightly bent, I keep the tension on the muscles, and I don't put it on the joints. Okay, so if your elbows were locked out straight, it would be your bones supporting that weight. And we don't want that. How's that, Michelle? Okay? Okay. Good. Right. Ready? There we go. Thank okay. You. That's it. Sit up nice and tall. Very good. A runaway ball. Keep going, Michelle. That's good. So as you can see, we're coming up just to shoulder level. Very slight bend in those elbows. The wrists are nice and straight. She's got a good strong grip on the, uh, on the dumbbells there. She sat nice and upright with a good tight midsection to keep her spine stable. It's all going very well. Terrific. Last two, Michelle. One more time. And relax, well done, just rest there, that's good. So as Michelle is doing, just rest the dumbbells on your thighs. No need to stand up and move around, okay, because you might find the stability ball rolls away like mine has, okay? So we're just gonna take a couple of seconds rest and we'll do that one again. So this exercise specifically works the side of the shoulders, okay? Uh, quite an important set of muscles. Uh, a lot of the exercises we do that involve pushing work the fronts. Um, the rowing exercises tend to work the back, so these side uh, shoulder muscles don't always get much of a look in. So this helps keep your whole upper body nice and balanced in terms of muscular development. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Great, let's go then. 
So again, up to shoulder level and back down. Now, if you want to, to concentrate on your breathing, inhale as you raise and then exhale as you lower. But if you get a bit confused, just keep breathing. That's the main thing. Keep that nice upright posture and your chest is up. Make yourself feel as tall as you can. Tuck the chin in a little bit to lengthen your neck. And then we've got really good posture. That's good, Michelle. Well done. Just a couple more to go. This is your last two. Well done. One more time. And rest. Well done. Okay. Right, we've finished with the dumbbells now. So I'll get those out of the way for you. And so far then, everybody, we've worked your legs and we've worked all of your upper body muscles. Now what we're going to do is concentrate specifically on your abdomen, okay? Your core, your stomach muscles, whatever you want to call them, it's this bit in the middle here, okay? So let me show you your first exercise. This is called a stability ball crunch. We're going to use the ball to increase the range of movement at the spine that we can normally achieve when we do this exercise led on the floor. So all you're going to do, sit on the ball, walk the feet forwards, and the ball then wants to sit in the natural curve of your lower back, okay? Place your hands on the side of your head or across the chest or on your legs, whichever feels most comfortable. That's the easiest position. That's a little bit harder and that's the hardest of the three. And from there, we just go into a very slight extension and we just crunch those abdominals. So we're sitting up through the spine, not sitting up through the hips. And then we'll go back down and lift. Okay. Now it's pretty normal to shake when you're doing this one. So even though I've got quite strong abs, I still shake when I'm doing this because the ball is wobbling from side to side. So I'm constantly having to make little adaptations and little alterations to my movements to stop me rolling to the side. So although we think of this exercise as being one for the abs at the front, really it's all of the abdominal muscles that are getting a look in. The obliques and the deeper muscles in the abdomen as well. So it's a great exercise for working that whole midsection. And then when you've finished, carefully walk back up and we're done. Okay, so you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. That's it. Good. So you can see the ball is sitting perfectly in Michelle's lower back there. Really nice position, supports the spine and also allows us just to go that little further back than we would normally be able to if we were doing this on the floor. If you do find that balance is an issue, I always take your feet a little bit wider apart. But if you want a more challenging exercise, bring your feet together. And then that side to side moving gets much more pronounced. That's good. Well done. Just a few more. How are we feeling? Feeling good. You're hardly shaking at all. You're a bit of an expert at this one, aren't you? Last two and last one. Good. Okay. That's it. Sit back up. Have a nice rest. Well done. So that's a good exercise, working that front of the abdomen and everything else. Now, if you do find that 12 repetitions is a little bit too much for you, then obviously do less. If it's too easy, do a few more. It's up to you to adjust the workload based on your level of fitness. So, ready for the last set of 12? Yep. Let's go. Here we go then, Michelle. Squeeze up and down. So you can see the pace of this movement is very deliberate. We're not bouncing off the ball, we're not swinging ourselves up or anything like that. We're keeping the tension on the abdomen at all the time. That's great, doing very well. You can even make this even harder by adding a little bit of a hold at the top of each movement. So we'd come up and just hold and then go down. Okay, and that would make it even more challenging. We're just gonna keep on moving, but that's an option there for you. That's good, last three. One, two more, two, and your last one, yes, good, well done, okay. So that's the muscles on the front of the abdomen worked. We now need to work the back muscles to balance everything up. And we're going to do this using uh, an exercise called a Superman. This can be performed on the floor, but it's just as good using our stability ball. So you place the ball on the floor, and you kind of drape yourself over the ball, okay, feet, are apart and your hands are a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart. And from there, we're gonna lift an opposite arm, oops, opposite arm and opposite leg up and down. Okay. Like so. 
So you can see why it's called Superman. Kind of look like you're going to go flying. And that's that exercise, okay? So it's opposite arm, opposite leg. So if we were looking at you from the top, kind of making a diagonal with your hand and your foot. All right? So, Michelle, ready to go? I'll try it. So as well as working your back, this is also going to work your butt. So it's a good exercise. That's it, Michelle. Good. Okay. Don't worry if we get a little bit of a wobble going on. That's it. Good, Michelle. Well done. Good. Now, if you do find that you wobble about a little bit and you've got a willing partner, ask them just to stabilize the ball a little bit for you. Okay? And that way you can concentrate on the movement without having to worry too much about falling off. That's good, Michelle. Well done. So I'm hardly touching the ball, just enough to give Michelle that little bit of extra stability that she may need. That's good. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Good. She's doing very well. Just got a couple more to do on each side. So as you can see, as we're doing this exercise, it's this whole area that's getting a great workout. Right, one more on each side. Good and done. Well done. Have a little rest. Might want to just kneel on the floor for this one so you're not resting on your stomach because that can be a little bit uncomfortable. So that's a very good exercise that can also be performed on the floor if you do find that stability ball is a little bit too much of a challenge for you right now. Okay, but we're working the hamstrings, the glutes and the lower back, uh, as well as, to a certain degree, the upper back as well. So it's a terrific exercise for everything on the back of your body. All the stuff we tend to ignore when we're working in the gym. So, last set. Are you ready? Yep. Let's do it. That's good. So the bigger your base of support, the wider you place your feet and the wider you place your hands, the more stable you're going to be. So do adjust your hand and foot position to make sure you're as stable as you can be for this exercise. That's good, Michelle. Well done. Very nice. So as I'm kind of looking down at Michelle here, she's forming this lovely diagonal with her arm and her leg, showing that she's got this exercise pretty much nailed. She's doing really well. That's good. Keep it going, Michelle. Fine job. She's doing really good. Just a couple more on each side. That's it. So we're on to our last three. Final two. Great stuff. And our last one on each side. Good. Well done. And that is our Great Balls of Fire workout finished. So now you can put the balls away. We're going to get a mat. I'm going to do some stretching. Okay? So as Michelle's been doing all the work, she's going to do all the stretching. <laughs> okay, there we go, Michelle. So first of all, you just like to stand there. That's perfect. Take a nice big step back and push your heel into the floor. Okay. So when we do this stretch, we're stretching the calf muscles. So just straighten that knee, push your heel into the floor, and we're going to go through and stretch this calf muscle. They can get quite tight with any kind of jumping movements and things like that. All right, change sides for me. That's good. So remember, with this stretch, just like Michelle is doing, make sure your feet are pointing forwards. They're about hip width apart, and you do concentrate on pushing your heel down into the floor. Very good, Michelle. Well done. Right, let's stretch those hamstrings. So big step back, sink the hips backwards, and we put the hand on that supporting bent knee. That's it. Good. Now with this stretch, to intensify it, think about trying to push your bum back towards the wall behind you. Okay, really push your hips back, and then you'll get a much deeper stretch. It's better to do that than it is to lean further forwards. Okay, so let's switch legs. That's it, bend that back leg. Okay, so we're pushing the hips back, really stretching those hamstrings. That's good. Okay, from that one, we need to stretch the front of the thighs. I'll do that standing. Okay, so mm -hmm. just want you to take a foot up to your bum, keep those knees together, and hold that position. Good, Michelle, well done. Now, if you do find that your balance isn't great, it's not a bad idea just to put a chair next to you, just so you've got something to lean on, so you can concentrate on the stretch. Good, let's change sides. So we're only holding each stretch for about 10 seconds or so because that's long enough just to make sure that we maintain your current level of flexibility. If you want to improve your flexibility, 
and hold the stretch for longer. That's very good. Well done, Michelle. Great balance. Okay, if you'd like to lie on your back, please. Okay. What we're going to do now is stretch Michelle's uh, glutes because they're muscles that we've been working really hard during this workout. So if you lengthen one leg, so straighten one leg, just pull the other leg in towards your chest. That's good. So as you can see, Michelle's gone straight into holding behind her knee. That means that we're protecting that knee joint. If we did put our hands on top of the knee, we could end up forcing it too closed, okay? Making it uh, overly flexed, which might not do the knee joint any good in the long run. By holding on behind the knee, we're just protecting the knee joint all the way through. That's good, just change legs for me. Fantastic. And once we've done this stretch, we're gonna hold this for a couple more seconds, we're just gonna roll over onto your front. Okay, good, over we go. Now with this one, Michelle, just imagine you're reading a, beat, uh, a book at the beach. That's it. So with this one, as you can see, we've got a nice long back position, the head is up, and we're just stretching through those abdominal muscles that we've worked so hard in not just the crunches, but just about every other exercise we've done today. Because when we use a stability ball, we have to use our stomach muscles to maintain our spinal alignment. Um, otherwise, the exercises tend not to look as good as they should do, and they certainly won't work as well as they should do either. That's great, Michelle, well done. Okay, if you'd like to stand up. From there then, we're just gonna stretch our upper back muscles. I want you to just reach up above your head, make yourself as tall as you can. That's good, stay there. So when we do this exercise, we're stretching these muscles down through the sides here, down through the waist. Really nice way to open up the chest and loosen up those shoulders as well. And from there, what I'd like you to do, Michelle, is just push forwards, push your hands away from you. We're just spreading those shoulder blades apart to stretch the middle part of the back a little bit. We did work those uh, muscles quite hard with our rows, so it's only right that we stretch these muscles out as well. Great job. And our final stretch, just pop your hands behind your back, lift your hands away from your bum a little bit, and push down. Okay, so we're just going through there. That's good. Well done, just hold that for a couple more seconds. Good. So that is the end of our workout. So you can relax, well done. Okay, we're just gonna take a nice big deep breath in, and out, and in, and out. Good, and in, and bring your feet together, bring your arms down, and that is the end of our Great Balls of Fire Stability Ball Workout. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much from me, thank you from Michelle, and we will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>